Let's get out and cut some bean sticks in the cane break for our garden. We're going to get in this thicket and look for what is also referred to as river canes. This right here is referred to as a cane break. As you can see, it looks just like bamboo, but it is not bamboo. There is a distinct difference. They are tough, so we have to get limb clippers to trim them down and pull them out. But as you can see, they get very dense. And they are quite tough. But once you get them cut, it is time to strip them clean. So what you need to do here is grasp the leaves and pull them downward in a very aggressive motion. They aren't too hard to break off, but they can have some resistance to them. It is also very important to wear gloves as you do this because they can be quite prickly. And you also want to break off the top. Here are some that have been broken already on the ground. As you can see, they're very abundant and they do multiply. These can actually be planted as well once you break them off. The end can be planted in the dirt and you can have more cane breaks. So needless to say, there are many ways that you can get this to multiply. Here we have beautifully stripped river canes. Now right here, as you can see, we have some new cane sprouts. These have actually rooted from the drop leaves that we pulled off of the canes last year. So like I said, this little thing right here can create an abundance of river canes. So choose carefully where you throw them down because that is where you will have river cane for next year.